Greetings ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only, Jewel here once again, and I am Blossom here, and I am Sonic the Hedgehog here, aka the Blue Blur, aka Blue Justice, and I am the one and only, Starlight Glimmer here, and we are from the likes of the Maxi Toys videos once again. So, yeah, welcome back for some more of the Super Monkey Ball Party Games Department in a 2023 edition. So, yesterday we have experienced Monkey Golf, and mind you, Starlight Glimmer once again managed to able to become a huge championship, but this time in journey forms of Monkey Golf. Mainly because she did somehow manage to able to achieve so much of the forms of certain skills to able to pull off the actual hole in one for some holes anyway, ranging from hole 2 and all that stuff. Which I must say though, Starlight Glimmer, I'm actually very impressed with your skills. Why thank you, Blossom, especially concerning for the fact that obviously I did play this on my own time for a bit, and thus draw your time is about to be ticking, so... Yeah, I think I basically got those though, Starlight, so either way though, so here we are now on to Monkey Bowling, in some cases though, um, out of all the actual, like, while looking back in Journey Forms of 10 years ago, uh, back then, this is actually one of the most popular videos that we've ever done during the course of in 2013, and 10 years later, we somehow managed able to get ourselves about roughly uh, 15,000 views, which is pretty insane if you ask me. Despite the fact that on the other hand though, it's about the fact that it looks like that, well, you say it about the fact that during the forms of in 10 years ago, that the previous incarnation of the Monkey Bowling video was actually popular enough, well, not for long though, mainly because that recently, what I found out, is that our uh, first part of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Let's Play is actually skyrocketing with the forms of views alike. And not only that, we got so many likes during the forms of the very first part of our Let's Play of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Seriously though? Yep, I'm not joking, because it's now going to be the second most popular videos ever, although mind you, until likely in the next couple of months' time, it will now basically going to take over for its top number one spot, so... But either way though, that's far as saying goes, that's all there is to really say about this, so... And for those of you probably wondering, is that yes, today's day is of course the OSD 26th of November today, in some cases in 2023 today. So naturally speaking, I was about the fact that there's not much else I would like to able to discuss upon, I'm afraid guys. Because relatively speaking though, I'm sure enough is about the fact that Sonic is already explained about quite a number of things during the course of in Sonic Frontiers, and especially noticeable thanks to the forms of the 25th anniversary of the Powerpuff Girls, which it did happen since about a week ago at this point, and relatively speaking, I was about the fact that we pretty much already explained quite a number of stuff here and there, so... Yeah, especially concerning for the fact that we're actually getting very close to December, the final month of 2023, before we move on to 2024. And also, I've realized that I somehow got a nasty split formation for that particular pins right there. Oh, that might be seems unlucky for you there, Starlight Glimmer. But I'm sure enough though, maybe I'm also able to guarantee to become a champion for the third time. Well, I wouldn't spoke too soon on that part, because sometimes though, if you couldn't tell already, that uh, obviously this is based off from the Super Monkey Ball 1 counterpart of uh, Monkey Bowling, because you can definitely see that fancy castle as a display. Oh no, I've been gutted. And yeah, that's what happens if you do fall off the actual lane. Basically though, you'd be gutted, so... Yeah, just watch out if able to actually just to do not fall off at the edge of the actual lane. Although, here's the catch of this though, as far as where Jewel just somehow pulls it off, is that she did somehow knock down 9 pins, despite with the forms of Mimi's losing animation, but still, regardless of such though, she at least got something. Yeah, because if, if you couldn't tell already, in order to able to actually get a good precise aiming, you have to press the L and R button in order to able to actually get ourselves a good old spin. So just in case you can able to actually spin the control, or not so much spin the controller, but to be more specifically, you have to spin the actual ball, so that way you can potentially try to able to go slightly to the left, slightly to the right, and if you really want to get the strike though, well, best of sure, good luck for able to actually just try to get the certain amount of strikes, because obviously, if you knock down all 10 of those pins in one specific shot, basically though you get a strike, 
But if you somehow managed able to knock down nine pins, then obviously you might as well able to knock down the last one. And exponentially, you get yourself to spare. And then, the maximum you can get up to, specifically, if you really want to go for a perfection run, basically, though, you can get up to 300 pins. So, let me tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. So, because of that, because relatively speaking, though, unlike we pretty much accustomed to the forms of Wii Sports Bowling, which as a result is about the fact that I missed. Oh, that was so unfortunate in my part. Yeah, that might be seems illogical, but anyway. So, but if you do manage to able to start your turn, basically though, you can able to actually move your uh, character for about, like, left and right and stuff like that. But if you decide to able to actually just try to go for an aiming radical, um, as you can tell, since we're going to be playing as, uh, you know, we're still playing as the Mimis, obviously, for the girls anyway. And in addition to that, Sonic is still once again playing as Ai Ai. But as a result, if you manage to able to play as Baby, during the course of this particular, well, minigame as far as I'm concerned, basically though, it's about the fact that you're able to actually have a slow cursor moving. So because of that, well, it's all about timing as well, so, and also you have to time your power uh, gauge as well. So relatively speaking, though, it's about the fact that, well, assuming of course if you got very lucky, well, exponentially you should be able to actually just try to able to knock down certain pins throughout, so... I'm not gonna say though, I really dig into the actual music already, especially it's almost like a, uh, a jazzy uh, 1980s kind of vibe to it. Although, to be fair though, um, Jewel, is that, potentially speaking though, is that this takes place in during, uh, let's just say, Monkey Mall vibes to it, because of the forms of that neon lights in the background or something. Well, my dear, it's been a very, very, very long time since I actually come across into version 1, for the likes of Monkey Bowling, even though we were attempting to able to try to able to play version 2 of uh, Monkey Bowling 2 or something, but we haven't exactly gone round to it, because what I've heard that the Super Monkey Ball 2 variation does have not only one, but three other modes, which are Challenge Mode, alongside with the forms of the Special Mode, where basically the Special Mode plays pretty much exactly the same as the normal play, except the noticeable difference being is that you obviously come across into special obstacles, so even then though, let, me, let us know in the comments down below if you want us to tackle through uh, Monkey Bowling 2, because I'd like to hear your thoughts about it, especially that it's kind of unfortunate that we didn't do it in journey forms of Super Monkey Ball uh, Deluxe version, just because we have more nostalgia factor for Super Monkey Ball 1 in my honest opinion, but regardless of such though, that's all I can really say about the forms of Monkey Bowling, and... Oh, could I possibly get a spear? So, how's that for my awesome skills? So, anywho though, so there was actually quite a few things we'd like to address something about this, is that potentially speaking though, until tomorrow anyway, is that did you know Frozen is going to be exactly 10 years old until tomorrow? Seriously, Sonic? Is that what this was all about? Yeah, which I've heard from the fact that Twilight Sparkle did somehow mention to me about this, even though I'm curious to able to check it out, especially concerning for the fact that me and Trixie are always expected to able to check it out, but it's become a lot more popular these days, which I know for the fact that some people seem to find Frozen to be overrated, but honestly though, we still managed to enjoy the film as it is, but I must say though, Starlight's Glimmer, is that I do prefer the first film over a bit more than the likes of how it does on the second one, mainly because there was a lack of uh, villain arc journey forms at that particular point worth noting for him for its uh, motivation. But I must say though, it's about the fact that while looking back in the actual first Frozen film, despite it does have some issues though, specifically, the liar revealed for the villains doesn't seem to able to work out as well, so as a result, unlike the forms of how it does it for Wrecky Ralph, it does make sense. But for whatever reason on Frozen, decides to able to introduce into our ridiculous moments for the sake of the forms of the villains' uh, plot twist arc, because relatively speaking though, we've definitely noticed something's fishy about it, but as a result, despite we have not seen it in day one, mainly because we haven't exactly gone round to it, or perhaps even maybe because we were just incredibly hyped about the forms of, uh, you know, uh, playing, you know, Super Mario 3D World, and especially no support of some other games, usually. So, yeah, that's what I can really think about it, so... And also, no matter what though, is about the fact that when it comes to other celebrations worth noting for for certain films alike, 
Um, I honestly forgot to mention about, during the course of the Sonic Frontiers playthrough so far, that uh, obviously one of those uh, movies called uh, A Cat in the Hat. Oh no, please don't mention that film, please. Oh, what makes you say that? Because looking back on it though, it is the most horrendous uh, movie based off from Dr. Seuss stories. And because of that though, they really screwed it up. Okay, I think I get the point there, Jewel, which, as a result... Oh, nice! I got myself my awesome strike! So that means you might as well get more points in addition for this point, so... But, uh, anyway, uh, enough about that. Um, yeah, besides the fact that Cat in the Hat is somehow got its 20th an anniversary treatment ever since in 2003, and still, while looking back on it though, it's without doubt the worst films ever made. So, although to be fair, it does manage to able to include um, Alec Baldwin and on top of that, uh, Mike Myers in the exactly the same film as each other. Well, mind you that uh, Alec Baldwin is actually uh, uh, played as one of the major villains for the sake of the film, which... It's hard to explain, because I just refused to able to actually look back on during the films of The Cat in the Hat, because, my god, that film looks horrendous. Yeah, don't forget me starting during the films of some pop culture references like here and there. Like, why did they manage to able to bring out the Universal Studios thing? That's a product placement. Like, I totally get it because of how the fact that that film has been made from not just by the forms of Universal Pictures or something, but it's also with the forms of DreamWorks, apparently. Oh, so that's what the fuss is all about, huh? Oh, I should have able to actually expect to see this coming. Well, at least to be more specifically though, is that there's also another one of those films has celebrated its 20th anniversary, as far as I'm concerned, and oh goody, I've got myself my glorious strike! Well, congratulations, Blossom, you did certainly own it. Yep, and for whatever reasons, that Mimi just keeps on shaking her bum, but because it's such, though, it's just for, like, coincidence anyway, so... Alright, let's see if I can get a nice little double strike, and if not, I'll be like, oh well. Speaking of which, ah, oh, you kid- Oh, okay, uh, that works for me. <laughs> I almost assumed about the fact that that particular bowling pin just almost screwed me up, but uh, regardless of such though, it did give me a helping hand, so... Oh jeez, um, yeah, there we go. So, I believe if you do manage to able to play as, uh, I, I, Mimi, and I believe Gon Gon, uh, you get yourselves a faster aiming radical, whilst if you play as Baby, you get yourselves a slow movement. Or maybe I keep thinking about the Super Monkey Ball 2 counterpart of Monkey Bowling, at least if I may be wrong, but either way, though, that's as far as I can usually just try to able to explain something like this. So, anyway, though, as far as what I was trying to say is that, potentially speaking, though, there's also another film that did recently became uh, 20 years old, which appears to be The Haunted House. Oh, not the uh, the newer one, because obviously I've heard the newer one is pretty bad, especially concerning for the fact that it did manage to able to mess up certain parts throughout, which, for what I've heard anyway, although, I'm sure that uh, everyone else do seem to be able to enjoy it sometimes, but either way though, not for us anyway, so because of that, because relatively speaking though, we are still incredibly excited for Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nuggets is about to be almost approaching to its release on uh, Netflix. Oh, and one of the subjects for this point, speaking of Netflix, um, we did somehow manage to be able to check out uh, My Little Pony, Make Your Mark, Chapter 6, and... Well, we'll save that particular topic, especially noticeable concerning for the fact that if I go back onto Sonic Frontiers, at some point on the usual Tuesdays and Thursdays for now, because I am almost basically done with the game before I decide to take a break on playing Sonic Frontiers, because let me tell you, it really is decided to be able to go like a huge marathon for my recollection, so... But, um, there's something I would like to be able to classify for, uh, uh, for you guys, is that, since, no matter what, though, Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, that was a good old save, despite I just knocked down, um, six pins, but that's okay. So, um, anywho, though, uh, what are you trying to say, Jewel? Um, I was maybe wondering, since about the fact that we're expecting to be able to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the game's release of Super Monkey Ball on a Nokia N-Gage, 
maybe we can probably able to decide able to go for that game, despite it's going to be ridiculously going to be short. But uh, I'm not exactly sure who's going to be up for it. Uh, maybe Ray, that uh, he might ask to do it. But again, we shall see. Enjoy at some point until tomorrow. Or perhaps even maybe for next week or something. Because I know for a fact that Silver is going to be still continue playing things on for the likes of Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. And no matter what though, yeah, that's why I agree, say bye. And it looks like we're now on to the halfway point in terms of monkey bowling. Now I will admit though right away is that, oh, no, 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 no. Oh jeez, that was close. Despite I only knocked down one pin, but oh well, no big deal. Alright, now it's my go, so I wonder if it's possible for me to be able to get a glorious strike from here, so I think that basically does it. Let's see if she, uh, uh Starlight gets it. Oh, not- Oh, you must have been very lucky today! Oh, have I? Well, I can definitely show it to you right off the- right from the start. That uh, obviously you're the most uniquest character in the My Little Pony universe, at least to me anyway. Well, despite I've only, uh, like you said before, I've only appeared in uh, Season 5 all the way up to uh, Season 9, including Friendship is Forever, so... Uh, quick question, mind you. Are you kidding me? Jewel also got a strike? Oh my god, how does this get any, like, ridiculously over the top when it comes to able to gain those strikes for the both of you. I mean, good lord, man. But, uh, anyway, um, oh yeah, you can also decide able to cancel out with the B button if you don't like any sort of, like, good, uh, position. So, uh, that's something that, as you can tell, what Blossom just did there, so. Another strike, but this time for Blossom. Hooray! Looks like the girl power has commenced. Well, suffice to say, is that, well, I'm sure you girls might be able to actually beat me again. I, I can tell for that's for sure. Well, to be fair, it was just for fun, really, so... Yeah, I totally get that, Blossom, so, uh... Oh, can I possibly get a strike from here? Alright! So it looks like we basically got every single strike, likely or so, for one turn to the other. Like, that is pretty insane if you ask me. I mean, God knows if Starlight's Glimmer might be able to get a double from here. Well, I don't know about you, Sonic, because even then, though, it's all depending on the forms of, like you said, it's all about timing uh, requirements for this point, so... Also, I just found out about the fact that, oh, so close to get a strike, double-wise. So, anyways, though, uh, there's also another film that's also been, uh, going to be 20 years old until specifically until uh, two days time for now, which appears to be uh, Kim Possible, A Stinch in Time, which I definitely heard about the forms of that particular film as far as I'm concerned, but I haven't exactly got into the actual catch up for the likes of Kim Possible, which as a result, I remember watching uh, some tons of episodes of uh, Kim Possible when I was young, when I was with Piglet during that time, alongside with the forms of Tails and Knuckles and possibly Shadow, and one time for Amy Rose. But uh, relatively speaking, it was about the fact that I can't even believe it's been donkey's years since I actually have last seen Kim Possible as the forms of the actual cartoon series. So, but I do know for certain for one thing, is that until specifically until next month, that uh, obviously the Lord of the Rings, the Return of the King, was expected to become 20 years old until next month. And uh, no matter what though, while looking back on that particular film, I can totally see why that film receives the number one box office record back in 2003. While second place goes to Finding Nemo, at least as far as I'm concerned. So, be Fernando. Oh, are you kidding me? Another split! Goodness gracious me, this is getting ridiculous for all this particular splits and all that stuff. Well, best of luck to try to get the spears, no matter what though, Blossom, because, well, I'm sure you're most able to just get one, but that's all there is to really say about that, I guess, so. Yeah, I guess that I'll take one anyway, so I guess that's something. Alright, now it's my cut, my go, so. And... Oh, are you kidding me? Another sp Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> no need for uh, panicking mode or anything else like that, because I seriously cannot stress enough about the forms that split sometimes. Oh, and by the way, once we make our way to the 10th and final frame, uh, if you get, like, a spare or a strike, you get about three goes. Oh, no! Uh, there goes my gutter. Ah, uh, oh well. Oh well. Alright, so it's now it's my turn now, so once again we have to share the controller again, so usually I will admit though right away, Sonic. I really, really love the GameCube controller WaveBird, because usually it's not only because it's wireless, but also I can just get myself comfortable when I was playing the game, for specifically playing the GameCube, uh, the GameCube games, including some Wii games, and even especially noticeable for Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, when I was going to get myself comfortable with. Oh yeah, I can totally see that, although despite you still need to require batteries, as well as the receiver, nor to able to make it work, so... I believe something tells me is that I believe Starlight Glimmer is actually gonna be the championship again. Oh my god, I could imagine this is gonna be the third time that she'll be the championship after all, so... I guess, well, no matter what though, Starlight Glimmer is gonna be the best player. I highly say that. Well, suffice to say, I'm actually doing quite alright this time, as opposed to the forms of how it does it in both of those uh, modes in particular, which are Monkey Target, oh, that's gonna be even worse, because no matter what though, I think I'm about to get a gutter, so, ah, that's great. Alright, now it's my turn, so it looks like we've only got two frames to go, until basically Monkey Bowling is gonna be concluded, so... I could imagine about the fact that during at some point in during 2025, and lucky you, Blossom! Lucky you! Yep, I did somehow manage to able to pull off a nice glorious strike, so maybe this might be actually be my comeback at the very least? Well, concerning for the fact that you might be able to actually keep an eye out with uh, Starlight Glimmer, mind you, because she's obviously going to be able to think about specific strategy that she's obviously going to be pulled off through. Well, to be fair though, Sonic, it's just about the fact that, well, I'm usually the greatest pony ever. Well, I would say for the fact that I believe Trixie agrees with me, so... Honestly though, I think Rainbow Dash is probably is the most coolest pony ever. I'm gonna have to say for this much. Although, to be fair though, that's, uh, well, that's all I can really say about it, I guess, so... And unfortunately though, I didn't get the actual, uh the spare or strike for that matter, but oh well. Alright, let's see if I can able to get myself my awesome strike move, so... Will I get it? Oh, not quite, but at least I'll take seven, so... I think I might be alright with that, so... But uh, yeah, that's as far as we can able to say about this when it comes to the forms of certain conversations alike, especially concerning for the fact that we did briefly mention about the fact that I can't believe until tomorrow, well, for those of you who lived in the United States of America, that Frozen, specifically the first film, is going to be became 10 years old until tomorrow, which I know for the fact that for one thing about the fact that it'll just pop up all over the news, imagine that. So, but even then, no, I could imagine about the fact that it could, it could probably do the same thing for the sake of the forms of next year, for the likes of 2024, whenever we decided able to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Disney's The Lion King, specifically the original film, not the live-action terrible version, because I don't know about you, that, that particular live-action movie is dull, and I really did not enjoy it anymore, so... But that's just the way I, I feel about it anyway, so beneath the way though, and it looks like Jewel just somehow missed. Oh, that is a nuisance. But um, at least um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on in the leaderboard right now, because I can't really see what's going on in this little small text box here and there. But um, I'm sure we'll find things out until whenever we receive the final results here, so... Alright, not bad for 8 pins to somehow no got knocked down and stuff. I wonder if it's possible for me to be able to actually get the spear from here. Well, I know about you, because you need to be able to require some specific spin control, so... And I somehow did. I pull off a glorious spear. Well, nice going on you, Blossom. And in fact, this is actually your last go. Yep. 
just before me. So, yeah, I was expecting April to say that. But uh, regards as such, though, that's all I could really uh, uh, say about this. Oh, I think I somehow knocked down six pins. So, I think I'll be all right, I guess. So, now it's my turn. So, let's see how I usually can go for this point. So, all right. So we just go ahead and get myself my glorious strike so I can able to catch up in first place. Alright, awesome stuff. So that way I should be able to actually achieve the last two goes on the 10th and final frame. Huzzah. So um, anyway, uh, there's also um, one of those moments where it basically those about the fact that, um, well, I don't know about you. That's what you could be able to actually say about that. Well, Oh, so close, able to get myself my glorious double, but maybe I can probably get my last spear? Ah, uh, shut up, timer. At least I got it anyway. Alright, here we go. Alright, I got the spear on my final go. But yeah, we really do apologize for our commentary, because it's a bit slightly awkward, but let's face it though, we pretty much already explained about the forms of what is going on, and on top of that though, it's just about the fact that we are very pleased able to know about the fact that we're going back into monkey bowling again. Yeah, like, we've already established that earlier, it's about the fact that I remember back then that that was the most popular videos ever made, and OH MY GOD! I can't believe Starlight Glimmer is definitely catching up now. Oh my god, I think something tells me my predictions is true, because Starlight Glimmer is going to be the third victory for the sake of the forms of the Monkey, uh, the Super Monkey Ball mini games or party game selection. I mean, she's really good. Look at her. Yeah, I can totally see why, because relatively speaking, though, she must have learned so much cool magic stuff. Well, thanks to the forms of uh, Twilight Sparkle did somehow show me certain things, including uh, Trixie as well. But either way, I think there goes my uh, spear. Oh my god, I was expecting to able to actually get in first place, but uh, relatively speaking now, I was literally so close. So here's our final results right here, and it's kind of hard to tell from the actual results because again, the actual font is incredibly small, but uh, regards of such though, let's just go ahead and press the A button to see what the actual true winner was. Now I'm sure enough though, Starlight Glimmer is once again the victor here. And on the subject for this point, it looks like I somehow got into second place, so that's a change for me. And meanwhile, I'm in third place, and unfortunately for you, Joel, you're somehow in fourth. Nah, uh, I'm guessing I'm not very good at bowling, I have to be quite frank. However, if you leave the screen for long enough, basically though, you get yourself a nice little fireworks display, as you can see on screen. Where she did show us a uh, Mimi uh, fireworks face. So, yeah, that's all there is to really think about it. So, it looks like that I uh, think Joel actually got 138 points. And meanwhile, I think Blossom actually has got 147 points. And meanwhile, oh dang, how, look how close that me and Blossom was. Although meanwhile for Starlight's Glimmer, she actually got herself 171 pins. Yeah, I was literally, are you kidding me? I was off by one for second place. Well, no matter what though, I'm almost a king at bowling, but not by much. So anyway though, so yeah, that basically concludes monkey bowling. And sure enough though, that was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys do enjoy this particular video, so as a result, yeah, I'll be back for more Sonic Frontiers, and we'll see you guys at some point in any future times. See you guys then. Bye. See you guys then.